There we go. United at last. Mm. Oh, wow. That and was she's a not big yawn. Cocktails have arrived. We did get some bargains. They've got some lovely new homeware and bits and bobs. I've never seen these before. How are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a kind of a weekend vlog. Today is Friday as I'm going to be vlogging today and tomorrow. We're all doing well and have had a lovely week and a lovely start to your September. I can't believe, like I genuinely can't believe it's September. And London's a, a bit warm still. Apparently we've got a bit of a smidge of summer left and um, we're going to have a week of warm weather and then I think it's going to be hunkering down. Ready for the autumn months, which I'm not really excited about, but... Hey ho, it's turn of the seasons is how it works. I hope you're all doing grand and staying safe and that, um, yeah, you're just having a lovely, lovely start to your month. I'm very excited. Well, we've had a lovely delivery this morning and this arrived while we were out, which is very exciting. Um, it's from a very, very lovely brand called Sophie Allport. I'll leave them linked down below. Heard of this brand before and they reached out to um, me and Zara because obviously they saw that we got a beautiful dog, Maggie, who is here. Oh, we've got a helicopter outside. So obviously Zara's home on Fridays and Mondays, which is fab. And look who's in her arms. Hello, gorgeous. We've had some exciting parcels for you. She loves these. Yeah, she genuinely, like genuinely so exciting. So um, yeah, Maggie, do you want to come down and have a look and see what we've got? So Sophie Allport do a range of homeware and bits and bobs. Anyway, I can't actually believe they include a little card to Zara and Luke. Let me read you this. It says, hi Zara and Luke, congratulations on the addition of Maggie. The team and I are obsessed with her already and can't wait to short see her grow up in London. Inside is, um, so we've actually got a dog bed for Maggie, however, <laughs> Just to keep it real, she got that excited, she did a little accident on her dog bed. But, it's brilliant because it actually is livable, so we've already popped it in the wash, it's currently drying, and she's going to sleep on this evening. I will insert some footage once it's dry. Um, I mean, that is a perk of it though. Yeah, definitely. But it's washable. For sure. Sorry, Zara's is here. Um, we've also included a couple of lovely little additions. Our Bubbles and Fizz toy is a must for any new puppies, and we had to include something for her amazing paw rents. I've created a discount code, which is Maggie15, for 15% off all non-sale items until the end of September. So, I'll leave that on screen, so it's Maggie15. You've got your own discount code, honey. <laughs> Oh, wow, and that was she's a not big in pain. yawn. That's yawn. <laughs> Look, Maggie, this is all for you. <laughs> but I've seen it, Dad. I've seen it already. Yeah, Zara already unboxed this. However, um, so, um, do you know what? I'm so impressed with the quality of it all. So they've included a gorgeous lead with um, a lovely black embossed Labrador print on it, which is just beautiful. It's medium stamped design lead. This is going to be our. It. This is going to be our dog lead. Also, on uh, the website, they have like all the different breeds, so you can yeah. like click on your breed. So obviously, if it's not a Labrador, then they have yeah, they have them all. Like Dax, Dash Hounds. Um, I think they've got Spaniels as yeah, well. Yeah, they have everything. Um, so there's a Sophie Allport collar as well in the same. It's got a beautiful like blue. Um, fabric on it, so this is going to be her collar once she gets a little bit bigger. Again, it has the um, dog print on it there as well. So thick as well. Beautiful, like the quality, like that is so sturdy. It's amazing, and it's obviously got the the Sophie Allport logo on there too. Um, now this, I'm very excited about. And that has full well. of watching. She's, She's like, like oh, what is it? So this is Maggie's treat tin. So we're going to pop some treats in this for you. She's like, mm, hell yeah, you are. <laughs> hell yeah. So it's like a classic enamel. Tin style treat tin with obviously two handles um, and this is all the dog prints they do. Yeah, these are the lovely canine prints they've got. So they've got them all around the bottom. So those are the that's the little dash hand there. And oh, I just think isn't that just so lovely? Like we do already have some treat jars for, but I think once maybe when we get a bigger kitchen, hopefully one day we can keep this on display because that is. We did try to find like a treat bin, didn't yeah, we? But they're not yeah. as easy as you think they are to locate this and actually be nice. Yeah. Um, small walkies tin, so they must do them in larger ones as well, I think. But honestly, obsessed. Everything featured, I will obviously link down below. Um, and obviously, you've got the discount code down there as well. If you've got any um, dogs or loved ones, some beautiful textiles. So, again, this is the um, this is the Labrador print, isn't it? Oh, oh my god, they feel so nice. They're actually lined. Pop your hand in there. Maggie, do you want to put your paw <laughs> you in? Put your Should we pull in? our paws in? 
Oh, that's lovely. Aren't they lovely? So we've got a set of oven gloves and what looks like a matching tea towel. So we've got a matching tea towel as well with obviously the classic. Oh, it is the Labrador range. You're right, sorry. Mm -hmm. Black Lab. I mean, darling, it's very on brand, isn't it? It's not intrusive either. No, I love it. You know, it. sometimes when you get pattern stuff and you're like. It's a bit intense, yeah. I just think it's so classy, like very country home, isn't it? And then this is a adult style black Labrador apron. So maybe we can do some bacon. Maybe we can do some puppy bacon. How does that She's sound? Like, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> now these. Look at the head oh, rise. Maggie. Oh my God. These are like genuinely, I love these. Yeah, that matches the bed. <laughs> it does. So the bed actually has foxes on it. Like I say, Ooh. I will. Ah, 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 Maggie. Um, so we've got a champagne bubbles bottle. And like, I think this like material is so nice. Like really rough. So she can like really get her teeth into and it. And it squeaks. Oh, bingo. Does this one squeak? I don't think so. I think that's more of a ch ah! This squeaks too. They so this, all squeak. This, um, I think with these like additions of the rope, she like loves things that she can really chew. Like cardboard. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is a little foxy. Oh, that gets Maggie seal Drink of approval. Drink up, honey boo. And then finally, I can't, like I genuinely can't believe these. This is such so lovely. I just think this like, I, I, I can't believe how, it's just all so lovely. The Sophie Allport Labrador mug. They've sent over two of these in the black lab design again. I just think how lovely are they? And my mum will really love these actually because they've got the thin, like a re it's almost like a born China style thin lip. I just think they're so, so lovely. And then that bit there where it says sit. Oh yeah, it says sit embossed, like it's printed in the, in the lip. I just think, it's, yeah, they sent over two of those. Thank you so much, Sophie Olpa. I think that's so lovely. And like I say, I will, I will show you the dog bed once it's dried. She's just it's having a little moment on the balcony, getting some um, air. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's obsessed with it, isn't she? Yeah, she oh, wow. Bottles. I'm actually gonna go and see Ewan. Ewan is gonna meet us because he hasn't met Maggie yet. So we're gonna meet in Dulwich Park, grab a little coffee um, on our lunch break. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna crack on working. <laughs> And she has been united with <laughs> Uncle Carrington. <laughs> say hello, Maggie. Say hello. She's too interested in the food and the yeah. snacks. Come on, Max. Oh. <laughs> this way. Come on, Maggie. Said hello. And she's trying to kiss his face and she's got super sharp claws. So don't scratch his beard. <laughs> there we go. Hello. United at last. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to go get a coffee and um, I'll vlog some more in a bit. But mm -hmm. just, oh, there we are. Met Uncle C. So we've come to Gills and Ewan's just getting a little coffee inside and she's waiting patiently. There we are. I've got some treats in my bag for her. <laughs> just having a little explore. So there's iced coffee this way. Oh, yeah, sun's so. come out. I know. <laughs> Isn't this lovely? Mwah. Ewan's very kindly got um, some iced coffees from Gills. Love yeah. Gills. Um, it's nice, isn't it? What is this? Yeah. Iced Americano? Yeah. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. yeah. He knows my order. This, mm -hmm. is how, this is how often we get them. And um, some some rolls, which are sublime. They're the spinach and feta rolls from Gills. So if you ever go to Gills, how many times can I say Gills in a sentence? <laughs> um, the sausage rolls are delicious, but oh, look at that. Oh, oh. yeah. That. <laughs> That's and what we're talking about. Maggie's very, very conveniently sat in my lap, ready. She's got some treats up here, so. Um, Would you like a bit of this as well? Oh, I reckon so. We can leave her a little bit, yeah. if she's a good girl. Maggie's made a friend. <laughs> We've got a little sausage dog. There we go, the zoomies have started. Good girl, Maggie. Be gentle, there we go. She is obsessed with this coffee pot, look. <laughs> What's that, Maggie? <laughs> that was very lovely. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm vlogging with the hand I'm carrying Maggie on and I'm like this. <laughs> we just had a lovely little afternoon in Dulwich and everyone was saying hello to Maggie. She's the, um, so popular, isn't she? She is with the dogs and obviously all the, all the parents walking the kids and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to head back now because we've both got some work to get cracking on with. Very exciting for you and your scaffolding's coming down. Oh, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. They turn up tomorrow. Oh. No Saturday hangovers, please, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Scaffold out here. Yeah, yeah. honestly, it, Ewan's been living through what has been, what feels like, I bet for you, a long old build. But yeah. obviously, he's been having his roof done. I'll leave the um, vlogs link down below because oh, they've you. been absolutely yeah. wonderful to watch. I'm sure living through it's a totally different <laughs> story. But um, yeah, I'll leave those links below because they make for very interesting watching of any of you and maybe doing some Renaults yourself. But yeah, we're going to walk home. Zara's still working back at the flat. We're going to make some lunch and then I've got to make cheesecake. Ooh, nice. Uh, what blue, kind? Blueberry cheesecake. It's like a baked one, like, you nice. know, the New York yes. style. 
So um, I'll get some footage of that. But um, yeah, Maggie's been fab. She just needs a lunch. She's getting hungry. Oh, that was so nice to see you. And really, really lovely. Maggie's in the back. Good girl. Let's get the windows down. It is really hot. Really hot in London. I feel like we're getting a delayed summer in September, which is... I'm not complaining. Oh, Dulwich Park is so lovely. Oh, I forgot how nice it is. Anyway, right, we're going to drive home now and then um, have some lunch because Maggie is ravenous. <laughs> those days I think the last time I caught up with you guys it was lunchtime it's now quarter past seven in the evening <laughs> oh goodness I have this I can't even talk <laughs> this week has been chaotically busy and um, I'm very lucky that I've been working with a couple of brands on um, Instagram which is just so exciting but it's a lot of laptop time I <laughs> Bought myself a cheeky beer <laughs> because it's a Friday and um, yeah, it's quarter past seven. I'm hoping to wrap up in the next like hour or so and then I can just close my laptop. Um, Azara's actually gone out for some drinks with her friends. She hasn't seen them in the longest time. Um, she used to work with them and obviously because of COVID, they haven't seen each other. So she's gone out for the evening. So yeah, it's just me and Maggie. I think all of the excitement with the doggies in Dulwich has tired her out. Oh God, yeah, it's been a week also. I don't really want to show too much out of our window, but basically there's been construction work going on all opposite our flat block. And without showing the road we live on, all on the road too, and also now this flat block as well, apparently the guttering needs changing on the whole block. So it's been a challenging week of loud noise and construction, so I'm ready for quite a chill Friday. We're gonna go um, out of London tomorrow to a place called Redden. We've never been before and it's um, quite close to us, so we're gonna have a look there tomorrow. So I'm, I'm just gonna have a quick blitz of the flat because it's just... Do excuse the sound of the road. <sighs> yeah, it's been, it's been a week. I'm just gonna quickly blitz the flat and get ready for a cozy evening. Morning, happy Saturday. So um, it's actually fairly late in the morning. We've had a really, really chill Saturday again. We're really looking forward to the weekend, just to have a bit of a lie-in, a bit of a chill, because obviously we're up super early, midweek, to get cracking. So it's quite nice to just really appreciate the weekend. Anyway, <laughs> Mikey did do an accident on her bed yesterday, as I said. So we've washed it, let it air dry. I've just ironed it. I mean, I don't even iron my own bed, and so that's how much we love her. <laughs> So this is Maggie's new dog bed. I mean, it's huge in comparison to the footstool. There we go. Good morning. Show them. On your bed. On your bed. Come on, little one. Come on up. Come on. Oh, Good girl. Climb. <laughs> no tinkles on this, please. Sit. Good Sit. girl. There we are, darling. Oh. So this is Maggie's new dog bed. It's from obviously Sophie Allport, and it's fab because we've actually had it. Monogrammed, well, not monogrammed, basically with her name on in this gorgeous, it's like an amber rust font. You can get it in a different font too. Hey, no. And she she honestly does love it. It's really well padded, obviously. This comes off, which is perfect if they do have any accidents. We went for it in a lot just because we know she is going to grow. And it's fab. They've got so many different colours and designs on it as well, and she loves it. Um, so yeah, we're very, very happy with that. I'll leave that link down below as well. So we're actually heading to Redden today. We just thought, we looked on like a map and thought, where's close-ish to London? That's out of London, somewhere nice to go. It's only 20 minutes on the train, which is fab. So we just need to go to Paddington Station, which is just north of the river. We've never been, we don't know what it's like. So we're just gonna have a look around, maybe get a little lunch. Yeah, that kind of thing. I've packed her bag. Yeah, I, I pack everything that we need for a day trip out. This is your bag. <laughs> so these are their little um, poop bags. We've got this in Home Bargains and these clips were from Go Out. No. Um, Mountain Warehouse. Mountain Warehouse. Thank you, Zara. So they're really great because you can just clip things on. So we've got a collapsible water bowl. Um, another one here that we usually attach her rope toy to. I've packed her luncheon treats in top. Her nappies. <laughs> and look, she's like, is it lunchtime? Um, we've got her dog bowl. The fox, which she's really, really enjoying. There we are and her blanket as well because it might be a bit cold on the train and a water bottle too and then we're all set right let's go to the station so 
So we're on the train, she's got a little toy, we've popped on a blanket, and we've just got two coffees to go. It only takes about 20 minutes to get to Redden, so we'll be there in no time. So we've made it to Redden. The train was actually really quick, it literally took like 20 minutes, which is fab. Um, it's really lovely. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna have a look around the town and then get some lunch. So yeah, we've got here around lunchtime. We're both pretty hungry. We only had toast this morning. Oh gosh, so I'm like low key. Ravenous. Hungover. We don't really know what's here food wise, so we're gonna have a look around, but we might get a five guys. Um, just because I know that's close. But I'm gonna head into Primark so I need to get some hangers and some other bits and bobs. Obviously we can't take Maggie, so Zara's gonna have to wait outside. Oh, that's okay. We can take Sorry. it in turns. I said you yeah. can't come in with Maggie. Like it's the best that oh. I can go in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop in and get some hangers. You wait there, I'm just gonna get hangers. We're gonna go Okay, it won't be long. They've got some lovely new homeware and bits and bobs in there. I've never seen these before. Quite nice, isn't it? It's a little print and a nice autumnal wreath too. That is um, six pounds and these are three pounds fifty. They've got some really lovely cushion covers as well. I quite like this cushion too. It's lovely. This is ten pounds. Really nice, like boho style and some nice little bath trays too. These are thirteen fifty. Bath shelf with made out of bamboo. Just picked up the goods. I've got Zara one of the um, salted caramel cheesecake biscoff milkshakes with one of the Five Guys reusable straws. They're trying to like combat plastic. And then we've got two veggie sandwiches in here with fries and all the good stuff. That Five Guys hit every spot that we needed. I've gone for just a classic pork. Whoop. And Zara's gone for the salted caramel shortbread, which is like lotus biscoff, chocolate, salted yeah, caramel. Oh, so good, so good. We just sat. In the middle of Redden, just eating. Maggie's been really good. She said hello to all of the locals. So, the most lovely bunch of teenagers just came up to us and started, um, <laughs> Zara was just in Primark having a look. And they gave Maggie a pride necklace because it's pride in Redden, which is so nice. And they were so lovely, really, really chatty, really friendly. And they had a Springer Spaniel as well, which is just like the one I used to have. So we've came to a place called The Botanist. So we actually have one of these in Newcastle where I'm from, and I've also been to the one in York. And Maggie's just sat here. There we are. And we're gonna order some cocktails. It's so nice in here, it's lovely. There we go then. Cocktails have arrived. Um, this one is the which one is this? Rhubarb and sage spritz with um, ginger and rhubarb liqueur and gin. Um, and then Zara's gone for a strawberry and elderflower mojito but without the rum because she went out for drinks last night. <laughs> And feeling a little bit fragile. Right, we're back from Reading. A very quick, brief day out. We did get some bargains. Well, Zara got some bargains. Obviously, we've got the pub, so only one of us can go in and shop. Um, Zara spotted this, Le Creuset. In fact, maybe you can't use it on the hob because it's got that base. Do not use on direct heat. So we have a Le Creuset oven dish instead of a, like a Dutch oven, but that's fine. <laughs> You know, I saw it, it was £25. I don't cook. <laughs> it's lovely, it is very nice. We can definitely use it on a display for sure. And then Zara also got a... A £25 display? Well, no, like, show it and then... It can go in the oven. Yeah. Well, that's fine. For, like, roasts and stuff. Um, she also picked up this white pumpkin DW home candle. There we are. It looks really nice and it's got, like, a lovely lid on it too. Oh, it's a double wick. That smells very nice. Very, very nice. We're just gonna cook some dinner. We've got a Hello Fresh this evening. It's a teriyaki veggie noodle stir fry with tender sim broccoli and peanuts. Dinner's all finished. Maggie Moo is just on her gigantic. She looks like the princess in the pea. <laughs> I said it's like an ant on an island. Yeah, That's it, how is. it is. She loves it. She really does. Good morning, starshine, the earth says hello. Morning! So today is Sunday, and today is going to be my get S-H-I-T done day, because my goodness, I've been playing catch up from the bank holiday. Oh, hello, darling. Good morning. Um, it, oh, <laughs> hello. <sighs> This is what it's like having a puppy Labrador. Yes, so I'm going to do a bit of a wardrobe sort out, go through all of my, my cupboards, 
to really try and refine everything in the flat because I just feel like we've just collected a lot of things over the months, specific, specifically, sorry, summer. And I just want to get the flat nice and like, oh, hello, <laughs> sorted for autumn. And I also need to make a cheesecake because I was supposed to do that on Friday, but I completely ran out of time. So um, yeah, that's, that's on today's agenda too because that's for a job that I'm doing. So lots to do today, little one. And she's had her bath. She's done very well. I've just had some scrambled eggs, which were delish. Oh, she smells like puppy again. Okay, so it's a little bit later on. It's actually 20 to 2. I'm back in the kitchen making the cheesecake I was supposed to make on Friday. It looks very good. I've never made a baked cheesecake before, so fingers crossed this goes well. Apparently, they do have a tendency to crack, but I'm going to cover it in um, like a blueberry compote. So fingers crossed it goes well. This recipe has gone up on my Instagram. Like I say, it's for a job that I'm working on, so I hope it goes well. <laughs> Cake isn't very nearly there. I'll show you. It's just chilling in the fridge. It's cracked slightly, but apparently um, baked cheesecakes do that. So it's got a lovely wobble. It's just firming up nicely and cooling down. So what I'm now going to do is just give the balcony a bit of a once-over because we've actually had scaffolding put up on our whole balcony, which is not ideal. It um, was very unannounced and kind of took us by surprise, and it's not really fab. It's kind of good that it's the end of summer, but... It's just meant the balcony's a bit unusable, so we're just gonna just strip it of all of like the soft furnishings and stuff and pack them away because it's gonna get obviously autumnal in no time, so yeah, that's gonna be the job. Just maybe get rid of some weeds and some of the plants and then sort it all out. There we are, we've just given it a bit of a to clear the decks basically. I mean, summer's pretty much over and now that we don't really know how long this is gonna be here, we're not really gonna be out here much, but it's nice to make it you just sit and enjoy it. <laughs> I was just saying to Zara, obviously, we fingers crossed this scaffolding won't be up. For long so if we do get some warmer days in september at least we can still come out and have some dinner on the balcony so this is the aftermath of shooting and this is the baked new york blueberry cheesecake it is so good i'm just gonna go and give zara a little piece to try i'm very very pleased with it i think by the time this is up it should be up on my instagram but if it's not it'll be up there soon so all the worky bits are done for the day so i'm gonna um try well so i was gonna try this gin because there's a bit left over so I'm going to have that one. But this is the one that my auntie got for my birthday. It's the British Rose Dry Gin from Edinburgh. And it's from M&S. So, um, yeah. So I was going to give that a go. So I'm going to make some gin and tonics. Right. Gin and tonics in hand. It's been a wonderful... Oh, Maggie's, oh, Maggie's, Maggie's also trying to have some. <laughs> the Rose Gin's very nice. Right, I'm going to wrap up this vlog, guys. Because it's Sunday evening. And um, we're not going to do anything else other than just chill. Probably get an early night ready for another busy week gosh how is just the weeks the days everything is just flying it's mad i can't believe we've had her for two weeks oh there we go oh, she's yawning she's like i'm tired of it already actually guys oh <laughs> <Bless> sneeze. <you. laughs> um but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you've enjoyed this vlog it's been a it's been a busy one but yeah if you have enjoyed it as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click subscribe down below and i'll catch you all very soon bye for now